Hi and welcome to another video from Experiencing IT. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your Raspberry Pi into a Hi-Fi network streamer with the help of this little piece of hardware and Volumio, an open source music player. Stay tuned. For this project you will need obviously a Raspberry Pi. I believe that any Raspberry Pi will do, so if you have an old one hanging around, make good use of it. The one I'm using here is a Raspberry Pi 3A+. You'll need a microSD card, I'd suggest getting one that is at least 16GB in size, a power adapter, I'm using a generic one here, but I'll leave a link on the video description below to the recommended Raspberry Pi power supply. Now, the little piece of hardware I've shown you in the entry piece is what the manufacturer of this board calls a DG hat. The DG hat connects to the Raspberry Pi using the GPIO and it provides the Raspberry Pi with a digital output over an optical or coaxial connector. This is commonly known as SPDIF. You then connect one of these to the corresponding SPDIF connector on the back of your amplifier or deck. No additional power supply is needed with this hat as it draws its power directly from the GPIO. According to the manufacturer, with this hat you also get full galvanic isolation on the coaxial output between your Raspberry Pi and your amplifier. This means that no electrical current should flow between the Raspberry Pi and the amplifier, thus delivering a no-noise high-quality audio signal over the coaxial connector. Over the optical connector you should get no interference from the get-go, as the data is transmitted using light, so no worries here. Another option, if your amplifier has an HDMI input, is to use the HDMI output of the Raspberry Pi. For that, you'd have to use an HDMI cable from the Raspberry Pi to one HDMI input port on your amplifier. If your amplifier has neither HDMI or SPDIF inputs, no worries, as there are also several DAC options to go with the Raspberry Pi. To pack it all up, you could also use the case with your Raspberry Pi. For the sake of this video, I'll leave mine without one, but if you're going that way, you'd have to check with the manufacturer of your board of election if they've designed and built a case that will accommodate the Raspberry Pi plus the board you're using. And to make it all work, we need an operating system. And of course, this is where Volumio comes into play. So let's get on with it. Ok, let's start by assembling the board which comes with its own mounting hardware. It also comes with an optional infrared receiver that you would mount on the board like this. To download Volumio, you have to head on to volumio.org and click on Get Started. Raspberry Pi is the first one in the list on the right and it is already selected, so you just have to click Download. Let's wait for the download to finish. Now it will come as a zip file. I'm going to browse to where I've downloaded the file and I'm going to extract it. Just right click on the file and select Extract All. Once extracted, you need to burn or write it to the micro SD card. I have a small thingy like this, I just insert the SD card here and then I plug this to my computer. 
To burn the file onto the SD card, you need an app called Balina Etcher. I already have it installed in my computer, but if you haven't, you can download and install it from balina.io forward slash etcher. You click flash from file and browse to the folder where you've downloaded the Raspberry Pi image to. Select it and click open. Make sure the target is the correct one. If you select the wrong device, all data in that device will be erased, so pay good attention to it. You then click flash and wait. Once it finishes writing to the SD card, it is now time to boot up the Raspberry Pi with it. Ok, so, to boot up with Volumio, you just need to insert the SD card into the slot on the back of the Raspberry Pi and plug the power adapter. Be patient, as the boot process could take some time. Pay attention to the green light. When it stops flashing, you should be good to go. And once it has stopped flashing, it is time to... So, if your Raspberry Pi has a wireless card, Volumio will create a wireless hotspot. The name of the hotspot is Volumio and the password is Volumio2. After connecting to the hotspot, a new browser window with the Volumio configuration page will pop up. If not, open a browser window yourself and in the address bar type volumio.local not forgetting the http colon forward slash forward slash. The first step of the wizard is to choose the language, which I'll leave as default. The second step is to name the device. For the sake of this video, I'll leave mine as default. Now, the third step is an important one. Most probably, Volumio has automatically detected the type of audio output device you are using, but if not, this is the time to choose it. As you can see here, it detected by itself that I have a Just Boom Digiboard. So, I'll just click Next. On step 4, choose the user experience, simplified or advanced. Now, for the network, select the Wi-Fi network to which you want Volumio to connect to, type in the password and click Connect. Volumio will then connect to the wireless network after setup is completed. We'll also add new music after finishing the setup and Volumio connected to the Wi-Fi network. So, let's click Next. And, if you'd like to immediately donate, you can do so now. Now click account and in my case I have to restart. I don't know if it would be needed if you'd be using just the HDMI output of the Raspberry Pi, but anyway I'd advise you to reboot after this first setup. After rebooting it is time to... Ok, to add music first of all connect your computer back to your regular Wi-Fi network. Once that is done, open again the Volumio web interface and go to Settings, Sources and click on Add New Drive. Volumio will scan for network drives. If your NAS show up automatically on a list, just select the shared folder where you have your music and click Save. If it doesn't show up and you know its details, you can and should fill them in. The alias is just an identifier for the drive. I'll now type in the NAS IP address or the name and the path to the shared folder. I'll now go to the advanced options because I need to insert the username and password to the shared folder and I'll click save and I should be done. Now, uh, if I go to Artists, I should see some artists. You'll see that for the sake of this video, I only have one artist here. And if I hover the mouse over it, you'll see a play button. If I click uh, on the play button, it'll start playing. 
Of course, one very important thing to do before playing music is to connect the DJ hat to the amplifier. I can assure you that I have sound. Unfortunately, I cannot show it to you because of copyright strikes. So, uh, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.